Uh, here, a chicken. Well, welcome back to Scum. Been a hot minute since I've recorded anything about this, but uh, here we are. Still got my well here, which always starts off when I first log into the session as not full. Even though I could have left it totally fine, it says nope. Still got my bike here. Still got my empty jugs of propane. Propane accessories. Yep, mountain bike was good while it lasted. It, I haven't touched it since, but it's still there. I want to rebuild one of these, the storage shelf. I got updates since we last left our intrepid explorer here in the middle of nowhere. I've done a bunch of metal work on this little thatch hut. Still got my generator purring away. You'll notice a bunch of other generators just kind of stuck here. They're mostly there just so I have a convenient gas resupply point for the generator that I use. <coughs> so I got like a little cooking station here. I got a full thing of propane, mostly full thing, thing of thing, of, full thing of propane. I got something to keep me warm during the nights because it does get cold at night. Not so much during the day; it gets pretty hot. I want to find find a thermometer. I mean, I could just spawn one in, but then I lose achievement, so I don't want to do that. So I did some organizational stuff with the weapons. I sorted through a bunch of this, kind of made, tried making sense of this because it's a mess. Unsuccessfully, I might add. Burning through a bunch of the grinding stones that I had because constructing things is expensive. And I found a use for Face Roll's Face Smasher Hammer. Rah, just look how manly that is. Rah, feel the testosterone. Uh, you need that to make metal structures, so I want to upgrade these wooden plank thatch roof bits to metal, which I might not even do. They seem pretty pretty watertight at this point. Uh, I'm going to have to use the metal, the metal hammer to bang this up. Anyway, I am unable to upgrade this at all, and I suspect it has something to do with the fact my engineering skill is only medium. Now, I started off with 0 XP at the medium level, so I've been slowly grinding my way up there, but geez, it takes a long time to grind that up. So I still got my Wolfswagen, you know, my Volkswagen, it's a four-door, so is it a Jetta? I, haven't, I don't know if Jetta's come, come in uh, four-door variants or not. Anywho, uh, so yeah, that has bunch of spare batteries and Wolfswagen parts including the front left door because I need that out of the way. Spare tires, a couple little bits and snacks. A gardening hoe which I'm really not sure how to use so we're not even going to bother with that. <coughs> but hey we got our Leica here. Poor puppy. Oh can I search that locker there? Oh, I got a Leica door. Just kind of spawned in here. Well, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. So that... Oh, nothing spawned there. Boop. It'll just stay there in case I need it. Not that I really need it or anything. Is that good roll of tape? Sure it is. Still got my, my, uh, my off-road bike. A backpack, just a regular old backpack. It's fine. Ray kit hoodie. Stuff just spawns in here, and if I don't deal with it, ooh, bolts. Yep, you need you need bolts to do woodworking stuff. Ooh, crowbar. Sure, we'll take an extra crowbar. We'll do the Gordon Freeman Half Life thing if we need to. You can use the crowbar to help construct. Oh, see, so you already got one. Perfect. I'll probably open all the doors you want. We'll go ahead and check. I checked these already. I need to check the other one. What? I checked all of them already? Well, I don't even remember what I was doing. That's a sure sign that I that this one beer that I had after work is already affecting me, but that's alright. Rope. That's important. <coughs> we'll stash that away. 
Metal pipe. Oh, I forget what you're used for. It's almost the same length. The hose, I think, is a little shorter than this, but um, yeah, that's important. You can use that to craft some items. I have stashed a couple propane canisters. They're just empty. I need to probably... What are you, earplugs? Oh, heck yeah. A bunch of toolkits that are in immaculate condition and brake oil. Well, this place was great. It's like a little uh, little hardware store. Maybe it's like Harbor F Hobo Freight or something. That's cool. So what I'll end up doing is I can fill that with some brake fluid. I can fill it with rope. Yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and do that. How much rope I got left from that? None. I can still fill it with cash. All right, so we're going to meats. Hey, all the fat's gone. Another cool thing is I figure out how to make meat stews. Oh, good. They're still here. My cooking pan's here. My two pots are still here, so I can do up some beef stew, some coffee, and grill up some meat. So, yeah, I've been busy. Getting some grilled red meat. This one, I used all the optional ingredients and got four uses out of it. Like, substance per use, 1,800 calories. That's a, that's a full day's worth of food if you're just loafing around. So that's four days worth of food. And then this one is 1,600 calories per use, but I only get three uses of it because I didn't use all the optional goodies. Anywho, <coughs> let's put some of these uh, extra stuffs away here. Yeah, so we'll compare. Yeah, one shorter than the other one. So I think we'll just put that there like that. So I've been slowly putting crafting supplies in a wardrobe, like underneath this line here. I got some aseptic rags. It says, hey, guess what? I was hunting a goat. And the goat saw me, charged, ran me over, broke bones on my, like, like messed up my arm really. I didn't break bones, but messed up my arm really bad. And I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm totally hurt. And now I'm limping because my arm's hurt, which doesn't make any sense at all. So the, the, I guess the, the, the game says, you have a limb that's hurt and in pain, we're going to make you limp. I think it should matter that if it's a leg limb or not, like one of your legs is messed up, yeah, it totally makes sense that you're limping around. But if your arm's hurt, well, maybe that just affects how you're holding something. Like maybe you can't hold a rifle very well. It hurts to hold a weapon. It hurts to, you know, do anything. We're just going to check some random building here. Uh, this is the... This is a bar. <coughs> I got a beer. Still got to drink that one beer that I got. I mean, I don't got to drink it, but, you know. Hippie pants. If you're playing a lady character and you wear a hippie shirt with no pants underneath it, it looks pretty cool. How much money do I got? 4,400. Maybe oh, it's a backpack just sitting here on the shelf. Yeah, you go to the pharmacy, you find a backpack. Ooh, a bandage. That's pretty cool. I don't think the the face masks in the game do anything. <laughs> Some arguments could be had about whether they do anything in real life, but I mean, I'm not going to go there because... Ooh! What's that? Pocky! Pocky crackers! Salt... Saltine... Salt treat? Saltines. Boop! Crackers. Hell yeah. Alright, so any parent knows what the brat diet is. Brat is totally a thing. Uh... Oh, what is it? What is it called? Oh, got some rice. We got a... Perfectly intact onion. I'm going to leave the soda. i got plenty of drinkage. I don't need more drinkage. I guess I found a food store. Well, what's all What's all in here? Can I Can I get some soap? The answer is no. That's... Uh, I, I came in through there. Right, this is like a, a commercial building of some sort. <laughs> I'm, I'm reminded of the Voyager Supercut, uh, something of some sort, or some sort of whatever. 
And now I can't stop when I'm, I'm watching Voyager with a friend of mine, dear friend of mine online. We queue up the episode together and watch it. Sure, I'll take some duct tape. And uh, anytime anybody on the show says some sort of, you know, whatever the, it is, I'm reminded of the supercut. And it, it's, it's kind of jarring how often you find them saying that. Some sort of space-time anomaly, some sort of energy surge, some sort of... It's like it's all over the show. It's rather amusing, actually. And I get it, you know. I mean, I even... I, people say that all the time in real life, so it's not like this huge deal. Ooh, 84% integrity? Eh, leave it. I got four pots. I got two in the cabinet, and I got two on the stove. The thing I haven't tried doing yet is come upstairs to one of these abandoned residential units and actually use the oven. Because you need, you need, I think, power to make those work. Hey, we should go find out. We should go try that, because why not? Just root around for some clutter. We'll check the store for goodies, too, since we're here. On the way back home to our little encampment. I guess that's the advantage of being able to build anywhere I want is I can build really close, like in a city. A thing of beer. It's actually in pretty good shape. What do we got? Block 21 mag. I can sell that for some money. Kitchen knives. I usually pass up on kitchen knives because I have so many of them now. Like kitchen knives galore back here. What do we got? Because Movica, I'm probably saying there, strong brandy made of fruit, blood of enemies, and limitation of their women. They got all sorts of little shout outs to various uh, other things going on here. It's pretty cool. That's Conan the Destroyer, Conan the Barbarian, one of the two. Oop, take a mobile phone. I, I like how you can search this, even though you can clearly see if there's anything there or not, but this kind of, you know, it's whatever. Alright, we got some safety pin box, a totally smashed plastic container, but look at it, it's there. Still got a lid on it. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, hell yeah, cocoa powder. Got some garlic. Well, I got two vegetables already. I got a water container. I got plenty of water containers that I really don't need more of them. Magnifying glass, nope. It used to be, I remember way back when, you could search the fire hose box. I don't know, am I like remembering some different game? Is it just me? Let's see if I can do anything with the ATM here. Or if it's been too late. Don't look at my pen. Okay, so I hit the limit already. That resets daily. I must have must have hit it up after midnight, so it won't let me do anything with it. Well, I kind of want some more dish soap or bathroom soap. Hell yeah, bar soap. Some loose bunnies. We'll check in here. Sometimes the kitchen's got soap. Not very often. More garlic. Not the best condition garlic, but it's fine. Uh, I don't know. How do I check? Huh, it doesn't tell me it tastes off. Okay, great. I know you'll need... What are you? Gloves. Don't care. I checked in here already. All right. Let's go back the other way. My apologies for my crappy first-person camera work. I prefer to play the game in first-person mode unless I'm driving, because driving is just lots easier in third-person mode. Let's go see what's in this little kitchen area here. Ooh, another onion. Heck yeah, onions are great. Oh, a tomato! It's actually in decent shape. Cool. Oh, heck yeah. We can cook up cook us up a meal. 
a lock. I don't care about locks. I'm not playing multiplayer. I don't care about locking my stuff. Earplugs. There's things I don't worry about in this game because I'm not playing with friends. Maybe I should. Let's put our groceries away in our refrigerator. I need to worry about getting another refrigerator actually because I think the meat fridge is mostly full of stuff. Oh, I got room. And I'll put more garlic down there. I hear a horse. Oh, I need to make room for the milk because I don't want the milk to go bad. Okay, we have to back up a little bit until food stuff shows up and now I can figure out where I'm going to put some more rice. Well, we're just going to throw it here. Pretty sure cocoa powder doesn't go bad. I got coffee. Hell yeah, coffee makes everything better. I got another thing of crackers. I don't know, should I go hunting? Debating if I want to go hunting or not. I mean, I don't have to. The hunting minigame is kind of a mess. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. To be honest. Oh, I even had some soap in here. Well, we'll just stash some of that. Uh, put some glue in here. Put a needle and thread in there. Okay, we've got another... Has a, another emergency bandage. That's cool. All right. Let's see, I should have gone here. Block twenty-one mag. That's forty-five ACP. All right. So now I go like that, and I can load it. That's thirteen rounds of. Of that's quite a bit actually. Nice. Oh hey, let's combine that. Save space. Boop. All right. So yeah, try to organize. I think all these mags are full now. All these weapons have magazines. I think I don't have M1911 magazines. That's the one magazine that type I don't have right now. Let's check our generator. That's fine. Let's see if the kitchen of the Marina Hotel has got any more goodies in it. It's usually a pretty good source of material. Step gingerly through the broken glass here without cutting myself up. Alrighty, we got a water bottle in really good condition, but I don't worry about water. Although I might, I might just fill that right off the bat. Oh no, okay. Oh, I did fill it. Okay, I, the other one's empty. That's why I got confuzzled. Nothing loose sitting around. Nope. Oh, right. Ooh, tuna fish. I'm saying I need some tuna helper and I'm good. Ooh, chocolate bar. Hell yeah. More tuna fish. It's odd that these cans are only three quarters of the way full. More apples. All right. Well, if I need to make some apple cobbler, I got the ingredients for some of that. Corn flakes. So I figured out this is like a dumbwaiter thing. You open the thing up and it, I think it goes up into the building. You can open either side so the kitchen could make something, throw it up in here, boop. Or it acts as a pad. That's a grease trap looks like and it looks... I don't know. I mean there's not a lot of grease. Oh these are just deep sinks. Okay never mind. I don't know. I've never worked in a kitchen so I don't know what I'm looking at here. It looks in ooh, more garlic. Hell yeah. The stinking rose. 
cornflakes. Like I needed more cornflakes. Like I needed more apples, but apparently today's, you know, fruit day. You know, I might have to start selling off some of, like, <laughs> yep, we'll keep food in the, why am I hungry, what, what's going on? I'm hungry. I mean, I can totally do something about that now. Oh, I got limes now? Oh, heck yeah, I can make some flavored tea. Oh, yes. So I got a bunch of, ooh, peach in good condition. Another peach? It's freaking Christmas! Am I gonna get another peach? Sometimes the game does weird things with the loot tables and says, hey, guess what? We're gonna... More garlic. A watermelon! Look how big this thing is. It's humongous. Uh, Not a lot of calories. A lot of water. But that's okay since I'm fixing the... And you cannot eat this entire thing. It's so much. Like one serving of watermelon is... Give me like 30% of my stomach's gonna be full. Just look at it. Most of it's water. Like, were you surprised? So I can eat another serving. Of that. I could technically eat three servings of it, and then be stuffed to the gills. That's fine. We'll do this. I'm going to be hungry again, but that's fine. My stomach is not going to realize that uh, I'm running a calorie deficit. Alright, something I need to go do, and I'll go do that now, is I need to grab the car and drive down to the fuel point and uh, you know what we're actually going to go to the gas station outside of town now, normally I don't go out of my way to eat watermelon I think watermelon is kind of a kind of blech. I don't like it I'm not a fan of it my kids love it especially my youngest dad can we buy watermelon I was like it's like 12 bucks for this stupid watermelon It's, it's expensive here in Hawaii to get watermelons, what I'm saying. So I usually say, nope. This is where I pop into third person mode because it's pain with the camera angles and all that fun stuff. Alright. To the fuel point we go. Which I gotta remember how I get there. I gotta go this way, it's right here. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of watermelon. I'm just, nope, not, not feeling it. Is it this way? Oh, I just can't see nothing. Yeah, it is this way. This is acceptable first person driving because it, it tracks the view and all that. The, the, the default camera angle for when you're fixed third person view while driving is I guess it depends on the vehicle. I don't like it for this vehicle because this vehicle has kind of a higher roof line than the other one, than the Wolfswagen. It's perfectly cool for dirt bike or mountain biking but not for the, the Leica. It's a weird place for a bush to grow. Now I could have gone to the proper fuel point way down to the marina but This one's got all sorts of, you know, technical goodies that spawn in, so I like this spot. I'd imagine 
this particular, like any gas station in game, would be very highly sought and fought over in multiplayer. And then my backpack just kind of spawns in. Yay, perfect. Now I do have the uh, the fuel cost adjusted, so well that's not loud and fiendish at all. I do have the fuel cost adjusted, so it's not super expensive to fill up gas jugs and junk because they're small. Uh huh. And then we do that one. Mm-hmm. And do that one. And now we're done. And now we can run around here and see what's available for loot. I got coffee. I mean, I can make coffee. It's not hard. We got a flare. We've got a backy packy. We got some bobby pins. We got some loose monies. What are you? Jumper cables. Water bottle. Trash. I mean, this looks like a water container. Mobile water supply. That's a couple hundred gallons of water. Just can't do nothing with it. And then we're in the garage. We went through the building. Got a hose. We got a battery. That's basically it. All right. What's stuck? Oh. Where are those? Oh, they're up there on the shelf. Wire cutters. Which, for the life of me, I've never figured out how to use. Man, these are all good condition. Wire cutters. Pristine. Brand new in the package. Car repair kit. Kind of don't need to worry about that. Another one. Anything else? Rubber insulation gloves. We got boxes full of nothing. That's basically it, isn't it? Okay. Check the outbuildings here. What do we got? A back seat for a wolf's wagon. If I had lock picking turned on, because hey, guess what? I turned that off too. Those screwdrivers would be absolutely essential to, you know, picking locks. Turn them into bobby pins. Well, I'm playing with unlocked containers everywhere. Everyone left, nobody locked nothing up. It's fine, it makes sense to me. Small generator. I would like to find another mini fridge. But they typically spawn in like generators do, just sitting on the ground. So I guess we're not getting lucky with this particular gas point. Convenience store. Kind of want a hood for my car. So short of finding, and I'd want another front seat. Okay, we're we're gonna get in that way. I could have totally got in that way, guys, but it's fine. It's cool. Well, where is another service station? I know there's one up here. This is the brick factory. I was doing initially my first playthrough a bunch over here because I spawned in at this point and just hiked cross country and did all that. I did some exploring up in here. This is Pripyat. That's Chernobyl. It's nasty. This whole area is just not fun at all. That wasn't this character. It was some other character. So as if I want to get adventurous I could go drive cross country or something and go over here and check out the Navy base which is fun. I got a submarine pen. I got all sorts of goodies. Oh, you know what? We're gonna... Hold on there, guy. I'm about to get out of the car again. How do you take a whiz? 
I think I think my buddy. Yep, I called it before the the car the thing even told me. We'll just piss on some trash. It'll be fine. Now the advantage of wearing a kilt, you just lift that stuff up out of the way and blammo, you're doing your business. That's great. Your legs stay cool. Your important bits stay nice and cool. It's great. Totally a thing. I love it. Plus, I'd imagine kilts are easier to fashion. It's just a bolt of cloth than pants. I mean, heck yeah! I think give me it. <laughs> the where I work, I have to wear trousers or pants of sturdy design because we are working in an envir industrial environment. But boy howdy if they gave us the option oh you can wear a kilt I'd be like I'm still wearing a kilt every day of my life now they're great they're wonderful the two kilts I got are not traditional they're kind of a modern take of it they actually have pockets of their own so I don't have a sporan but they work they're totally functional they're kind of heavy duty too so uh, there, there is heft to the fabric. They, they weigh like about a pound. They're not these lightweight, flimsy things. Or they've taken some abuse. Well, I could just go down here. All right, now I got to navigate. So let's crash through some bushes. Drive past the burning tires. Avoid smacking the dilapidated jalopies that are. That's a fun game I haven't played on camera at all, it's Jalopy. Kinda get a long drive vibe to it, where you gotta put your car together and all that, but it's a lot more mechanic intensive than the long drive. Long drive is, yep, once you make the parts nice and pretty, that's it, they're done. I oh, see a generator spawned in here while I was gone. Perfect. We'll set that aside. And then that'll be fine. Go ahead and shut her door. Alright, backpack is full of goodies. Inventory. We can go check. 13%, huh? Let's drag you over here. Oh, you're full. Well, again, I'm taking you with me. <coughs> so, I will stash this. The one with the controls facing me is the one that I'm actively using. The other ones are just kind of there as... Uh, Backup fuel stores. So now that I've moved this generator, it's going to stay there. Oh, hey, look at how about that? I get to go paw through this again. A sweater, a beanie hat, lead plates. I'm really not worried about making bullets. I have tons of bullets already. Oh, don't tell me it's getting dark already. Is it really? Oh, do I feel like messing around with a goat? Last time I messed with a goat, I completely, absolutely lost. Alright, so we got some more cereal. We'll put some more cereal down here. I gotta cook something that uses these vegetables, because if I don't, they're gonna go bad. Because I have a need to get rid of some of this stuff. Well, let's make room for that. Alright. See, I got a food problem. I have too much of it. It's crazy talk, I know. It's like, what do you mean you're complaining about having too much food? It's not, it's not feasible. Well, I'm, I'm telling you it is because I'm living it right now. I have too much stuff. Because I keep running around looting things. I should just... Well, I want some more meat. So guess what? We're going to... Thank 
is over that way. I'm gonna wait for him to make noise again so I know which way to go. Well, that's a shenanigans. He's not making noise anymore. I'm like, what kind of baloney is that? I found a goat once and it sucked because he charged me, messed up my arm. I did not like it at all. Limped my way back to base. It's like I'd almost rather hunt bear and wolves because they spawn in and they stay spawned in. The problem is bears and wolves will actually hunt you down too, so it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, make noise, goat. I don't know where you are. I'll just stand here awkwardly until they show up. Which might be a while, oddly enough. I don't know. Ugh, shenanigans. Maybe I missed it. There's a time limit for how long the, uh, the sounds show up. And if you miss it, you miss it. They go away. All right, well, that was a bust. The one time I decided to go hunting an animal down, it decides, nope, I'm going to disappear now. And that's kind of don't like the hunting minigame. Because if you don't do it right, and it's difficult to do it right, they just kind of stop. Yeah, I'll get some sugar. Fructose! It's great. Although I'm surprised I'm only eating like, you know, one little small, I don't know, am I kicking the rock? At, well, how am I getting these dates off of here? Oh, I almost got nothing. Bombers. Ooh, this one's got two. And they're all fresh. Be neat if there was a recipe to like make some date jam or something. Make a pie out of dates or something. I think they're groovy. How's that doing for me? Oh, what did we got? Oh, it's a bunch of calories. <laughs> I probably ate too much of it. That's fine. It's good. I'm good for it. My constitution score has slowly gone up over time. My dexterity's gone up because of weight gain, weight loss, I should say. Strength is going up. Constitution's going up. Yeah, my stats are improving. 
So yeah, that that's that's pretty cool. What are you? You look like weapons mag. Let's find out. What are you? M9 magazine? I got plenty of them, but I'll take another one. That's an actually pretty good, decent shape. Some of the mags I got on me are beat up. So we can change one of our mags out for one that's a little bit better. Kind of wish there was a way to make, like, repair a magazine. Alright, what do we got? Kruger mags. Like, that one's in really good shape. So we'll take the worst one that I got, which I don't know where it's at. Pull you out. Pull that guy. Yeah, let's, let's put the good mag in. I'll put you away. 70%, that's actually one of the not-so-bad ones that I got. We need some 9mm. Yep, load that guy. Put that away. What do we got? I got a 68. Oh, these are all kind of the same. We'll put that away. We'll keep the 70% and the 90% mags. And I gotta shuffle. What I'll end up doing eventually is maybe selling these. Yeah. Got three spare mags, one and a weapon, bunch of loose ammo. It's fine. We're doing fine. Let's check clothing for wear and tear. Uh, socks, not too bad. Holster. Don't know how to fix a bulletproof vest. Maybe you can't. Oh, is it going to be sundown soon? I can't see what time it is. Well, let me take my gloves off. Actions. Check time. Oh, geez, it's 8 o'clock. And I've been at it for 42 minutes. Maybe it's a sign that I need to... So I don't record during nighttime because nighttime is hard to see anything. But I got, I got night vision, so that's a plus. But uh, I don't need to subject you to that. I should probably finish up a thing of cornflakes. What are we doing now? It's creeping up. <laughs> I got... Oh, jeez. I'm going to get so full off of that. It's fine. Oh, hey. Another gas canister. You weren't here before. Hey, guess what? You're going to stick around there, buddy. You're going to go right here. I wandered far enough away that things in the area started to respawn. Well, let's see what we got in here. Nothing new here. Alright, cool. I mean, there's a chance... Ooh, what do we got? We got some hearing protection. We got another toolbox. Yeah, I got some nagels, but I got, I got plenty of nails and I don't need them very often. When you do metal crafting, like these walls and the floors, you need a lot of bolts. So we'll drop another. We'll drop another toolbox. Perfect. Because you'll need the toolbox to craft up the metal. Which, if I upgrade the roof to be metal, I'll definitely need the toolboxes. It'd be neat if it treated it like. Um, oh, what is it? What game is it that did that? Your God, I can't think of it now. You could have stuff in a chest or container nearby and use the stuff in a container to build things in a radius around that container like you're reaching for it. I cannot remember what game that is. It's not Minecraft. I don't remember. Let's see if this well's got me some fluids. 
A little bit. Alright, it's full now. I need to stick around more to get... Uh... Oh. Are you empty? Oh, you're bugged now. Well, that's great. Oh, and that's bugged now, too. Well, I'm going to just make you go away. Darn. Alright, let's fix the bicycle. I bet you the motorbike's the same story. And then, poof. That's redone. Uh, let's go check the, the dirt bike. I mean, that looks a little wrong. I like how uncomfortable the seat looks. I don't know if that's how dirt bike seats normally look. I mean, it looks less like a seat and more just like a, you know... Oh, hey. Take you. Where do you like? 41 out of 50? Yeah, sure, we'll put you over here in the... I, sh I should get the resources and make this again. I got gas cans in here. I got a number of them, actually. Yeah, quite a number of gas. I got qu quite a lot of stuff stashed in here. It is definitely getting dark, but it doesn't help either. Uh, what's my wood situation looking like here? What have I got? Not bloody much. Well, you look... Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. There. That looks... legit. Although it looks just like logs are in here. They're not. Oh, okay. Okay, let's fill out of the small container. Alright, now we can check you. Make sure you're full. Yep, you're pretty much full now. Perfect. Get the fridge running. Keep these going. Uh, I might start cooking something, but I might not keep at it. Let's make something super duper garlicky. How's that sound? We go to meats. We'll capture two things of meat. We go to food. We'll use an onion. We'll use a shrimp. This frees up more room in my stuff. I gotta go back over here and I gotta go to food stuff. I gotta get some cooking oil. I gotta get some wine. I should get some salt. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook us a meal. Oh wait, I need... I need the recipe book. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna find stews. I got these all like, you know, catawampus and stuff, but that's, that's by design. Okay, so we're gonna do stews, we're gonna do a meat stew. All right, so we add our main ingredients. We add our vegetables, yup. We add some more garlic, yup. We'll add some onions. We'll toss in our mushrooms, our extra thing of meat. I don't have the uh, peas, but that's fine. I need my cooking oil, make it, you know, taste better. I need some salt. All right. Now you watch what happens. So the only thing I'm missing is a can of peas. It's going to take 108 minutes to cook that. Now with the time delay I got going on here. Let's go back to food here. Put the onion away. We'll put that away. Go back to foodstuffs. Go back up here. Put the cooking oil. Not much of it left. I used basically I used 500 milli I used half, half a liter of wine just for that. Put the salt away. We'll put our stew stuff away. Okay, perfect. And then I'll look at my metabolism, see how we're doing. Right, so the dates are slowly getting into the system. Well, it says I'm low on protein and carbs. <laughs> sure, okay. The only issue is that the cooking, the recipe takes forever to do. And usually what I'll do, I'll just sit here and just fart around camp and, you know, do inventory management, whatnot, sorting stuff out, and get ch check up on this every so often to make sure I don't screw this up. But I'm not going to subject you to the terror of having to watch this pot for 
30 minutes, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so, because it's basically divided by 3-ish. Yeah, it's going to take forever, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let you all go, and we're going to have fun later. I mean, it's a nice evening. I can't really see it, because the windows are in the wrong spot. But, uh... I mean, kind of, you can kind of see it off there to the right side. Hey, there you go. Perfect. It's going to be sundown soon. I got dinner cooking here on the stove. I mean, never mind. I have two servings of the stuff already. I mean, I got plenty of cooked meat. I got some bear steak. I'm basically making bear stew out of this. But, uh, yeah. So that's cooking. I should try baking something. I got the ingredients to make bread, so that should be fun. And then I'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Anywho, that's all I got for you now. I'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good one.